Hello guys, welcome to another Super Farms episode. However, today's farm I would not say it is super. I would say it is oh god, it is stupid. Look at that behind me. Now you guys might be able to guess from the zombified piglins what farm this is. Yes, this is a ooh. Look at my FPS. This is a gold farm, a portal-based gold farm, and I my PC is about to die right now. Uh, but um, yeah, look at this, guys. This farm is right now not using any looting method, so that's why it produces only 120,000 gold nuggets per hour since we just kill them by the fall damage, meaning that it produces 1,400 gold blocks per hour, which is really nice. But if you want to add a looting system, then I would recommend using a TNT looting system since uh, using a sword looting three looting system that would immediately crash your PC like I like mine did when I tried to do it. I usually but, but that literally like crashed my PC so bad that it completely stopped. I had to restart it and everything. So yeah guys. So as you guys can see here, we kill the zombified piglins by fall damage, and you can see the oh god, it is really laggy right here. As you guys can see, we, I can I can tell I can show you this counter. It produces 120,000 because they, because it produced five in five minutes it produced 10,000 gold nuggets, and if you multiply that by 12, then you get 120,000. 120, so yeah, this is like really amazing as you guys oh this farm causes loads of lag for your own good guys don't build this if you have if you don't have a very powerful pc even i have a really nice oh god what the heck let me get far away from these guys or else i will crash my game god it's still lagging oh god it's still lagging so if for your own good guys like you saw here don't build this if you don't have a really powerful pc uh if you want you can build it with the tnt looting system that might kill them quicker and save you a bit of lag but for your own good please don't build this farm if you don't have a nice good pc since i have a good pc and my pc is literally crying right now so please don't build this in your inner bad pc disclaimer don't do this at home don't try this at home so yeah first we can check out what's going on in the nether so let me just please disable mob spawning since um yeah i can't get to the nether without it so yeah we just kill all the mobs and it's still lagging the the pc dude so in the nether you guys have to build a very big perimeter in like a student 17 by 17 chunk and then right in the middle you will stand and you can choose where, where the location to build your farm it is really your choice but but this right block right here is the exact middle of the farm of the exact middle of the perimeter so yeah guys and then here we got suppressed portals now i'm pretty sure that you guys will not build this since suppressed portals are actually really hard to build you have to build an update suppressor here and then you have to surround and you have to have also oh god why is it still lagging even though i've disabled mob spawning so even though that um this farm yeah the even though the po this farm is not too hard easy to be hard easy to build since you have to do the update suppression you also have to break a bedrock of the uh, in an at least f3 plus g wait what f3 oh crap i didn't mean to do that i didn't mean to do that uh let me just pop down my render distance a bit yeah that will do nicely so yeah, you guys ex have to do exactly like one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four by four chunk worth of four by four chunk worth of mining in the outside. So yeah, like count four chunks like this. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Like so, and if you count that, and you will have to remove every single piece of bedrock in that area, and then and then you can build the farm right in the middle of the area. This farm is built in a two by two chunk area, so that all the portals link up to the original portal in the in the overworld, so that they all link up. And you just have to take like the coordinates of the block at the border of each one, and that will do nicely. 
this just respawn anchor is not needed don't don't use it i'm just using it so that i can respawn here then you can have a bot or anything in the middle of the farm and then you and then you can stand at the on bedrock and then and then now let me just kind of chunk borders now we can show uh, and now you can you have to place glass blocks in a line every two leave a two block gaps and then you build another line and then another and like so so right now this is really nice so now we can start up the farm and you guys can see what's go what happens when i do this you guys can see look at the amount of mobs going through the to the through to the overworld and since zombified piglins are considered as hostile mobs they are spawned every one tick meaning every 50 milliseconds yeah that is really really fast and because the mob caps get instantly free when when they are teleported to the overworld new mobs immediately spawn and that is really really nice and but they they are loaded until they get killed in the overworld um, and that is like really fast as you guys can see look at the amount of mob spawning like and you just have to stand uh, on the level of bedrock and this is how much you will get look at this and, and now we can go to the overworld please lord don't crash my pc lord